Trudeau, sociologically and politically, is an idiot, Uge Dosange on why PM is to blame for Sikh extremism in Canada. A silent majority of the Sikhs do not want to have anything to do with Kalistan. They just don't speak out because they're afraid of violence and violent repercussions, reports Uge Dosange, as a Sikh living in Vancouver, British Columbia. The call for a separate Sikh homeland in Punjab, India, to be called Kalistan, has been brewing since the 1930s, when British rule in India was nearing its end. Although the movement now has marginal support in India, it has taken wings in Canada and escalated into the present derailing of relations between two friendly Commonwealth democracies, India and Canada, unlike many of his Sikh peers in Canada. Ujj, a former NDP premier of British Columbia and a former federal cabinet minister under Liberal Prime Minister Paul Martin, isn't afraid to speak out. He's been extremely vocal, especially since 1985, that's when the bombing of Air India Flight 182 by Khalistani extremists, killing 329 people, brought the separatist movement to Canada. Ujj, now 78 has faced death threats from extremists but remains unwavering in his determination to convince fellow Canadians that the overwhelming majority of the nearly 800,000 Sikhs in Canada do not support the Khalistani movement. I'd say less than 5%, less than 5%, he emphasizes. To be clear, Uj is not denying the awfulness of recent events on North American soil. The brazen murder of Hardeep Singh Nijar a Sikh separatist designated a terrorist by India, in the parking lot of a Sikh Gurdwara in Surrey, British Columbia. And the foiled murder plot in the United States against another Sikh separatist, dual U.S.-Canadian citizen, Gurpatwant Singh Pannun.